if you are experiencing any type of pest inside of your worm farm, then this is for you. So enjoy the video. Well, hello. You hear people say that red mites, they're not a problem to your worm farm. Well, if that was the case, why do they not want them in the worm farms? Because they are not meant to be in an indoor worm farm. If they're outdoors, I have no disagreements with them being in an outdoor worm bin. But inside, you don't want red mites in your worm bins. You don't want springtails in your worm bin. You know, you don't want any type of critters in your worm bin. You just want your worms, the microbes, the fungi, and that type of things to break your food scraps down. So, if mites aren't a problem, why are people trying to get them out of your worm farm? So, don't have, try not to have any mites in your worm bin, and you'll be successful with your worm farm. And now, before you go out and buy some diatomaceous earth, or they call it DE, I want you to first try to freeze your food scraps, thaw them out, and bury them deep into your worm farm to see if that helps with your mites, you know, because... Mites are a burden. I have never experienced mites in my worm farms. I knock on wood for that, but hopefully I never get them into my worm farm. And now you have to let me know what you use for bedding for your worm farm. Because I'm telling you, if you're bringing stuff from outside and putting that into your indoor worm bin, you're going to have problems in your worm farm. And also if you're dealing with fungus gnats or fruit flies, I don't want you to try any mosquito bits. Because I've talked to other worm farmers, we came to the conclusion that you don't want to use that. There's other methods that you should try first before you go out and start spending your hard-earned money when it comes to your worm farm. So, let me know what you use for bedding in, your com in the comments box below. Here are a few other videos to help you learn about how to prevent mites in your worm farms and how to make a fruit fly trap to prevent fruit flies from getting into your worm farm. If you like what you're hearing from me, give this video a like. Subscribe to my channel if you like what you're hearing from me. That's why I take time to say thank you so much for watching us, and you have a great day. Bye.